also the first mechanism process that you need to understand is a so-called coastal upwelling. Okay, here's a little sketch. And to understand these uh, upwelling systems in the, in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, you have to know that in these regions, there is a dominant wind com component blowing towards the equator, in both the northern and the southern hemisphere. Okay, and you learned about the Ekman transport. Okay, so these winds, what they do is they, in both hemispheres, actually move surface water in the surface Ekman layer away from the coast. This is the starting point of this, this process. There is an Ekman transport away from the coast, and what this mechanism does, okay, it is it lowers the sea surface near the coast. This creates a geostrophic flow, okay, and on the left side in the sketch you actually see a top view creates a geostrophic flow, and the geostrophic flow um, runs parallel to the coast. And near the bottom, because of frictional interactions with the seafloor, it creates an onshore Ekman transport and onshore transport of near uh, bottom water. Okay. There's a little sketch shown here above my head. Okay, where's the mouse? The mouse is activated. Okay. Essentially, I have a continental shelf. Continental shelves are the, the regions in the ocean where the water depth, depth is, is typically around 200 meters. Okay, and in these regions, it's deep enough that the surface and bottom Ekman layers are actually separate feature. Okay, so what you get is that the wind uh, creates the offshore Ekman transport near the surface, and the geostrophic flow that uh, results from this uh, uh, mechanism creates a bottom Ekman layer and an onshore. Okay, both north and south of the equator. Okay, all right. In these upwelling regions in the eastern Pacific Ocean, what you also Get is in addition to the upwelling circulation, you know, which which a key feature is the upwelling jet, the geostrophic flow, is the so-called undercurrent, okay, which flows along the shelf brain. It's also added here. What you also should um, just remember is that the upwelling current, the geostrophic flow itself separates actually from the coast. And you find the geostrophic jet, the coastal upwelling jet, you can identify this as a frontal current, as a, as a, a density front. Okay, let's, let's have a look at some observations. 